Total Heart Health, How to Heal Your Physical and Emotional Heart. Based on principles of the ancient science of Ayurveda, Maharshi Ayurveda, in light of modern science. And in this course, first we'll cover the theory, and then we're going to get practical on how you can use uh, a lot of this knowledge for yourself, for your families, and for your patients, those of you who are health professionals. But first, who is at risk for heart disease? Well, the answer is almost everybody. On average, in contemporary society, a third of people have hypertension, another third have prehypertension. So more than 60% of the adult population has high blood pressure. And heart disease uh, kills almost as many people as all the other conditions combined. And the contributors are both physical, conventional, and non-physical, behavioral, emotional. So this is our theme tonight of mind and body health and how we can uh, balance these physical, physiological factors, balance these emotional and mental factors for total heart health. And actually, as we'll be learning throughout the course, in order to have total heart health, we need total health. I find the world of medicine is changing. And here's some concrete evidence. About one year ago, the American Heart Association published the first ever review from a conventional medical body of alternative methods to lower blood pressure. And one of the conclusions was alternative treatments that include the transcendental meditation technique are recommended for consideration in treatment <coughs> plans for all individuals with high blood pressure. So in this course, we are going to review approaches of mind, body, and environment. In the mind approach section, we'll be talking about meditation. We'll be talking about the Ayurvedic approach to, to counseling and mental health. And then in the body section, we'll be talking about the physiology uh, and how it's structured according to these ancient principles of natural medicine. The doshas is an important part of that. And then we'll talk about mind-body types, how different people are different, and how we can personalize these approaches of natural medicine according to your own unique mind-body type. And when we know that, we can talk about approaches of diet, exercise, routine, uh, all based on this knowledge of the quantum mechanical level of the body, the deepest level of the mind and body, and how we can work up from that, how we can use the body's own inner intelligence for health and healing.